like we said before, the capsule's going about 15 or 16 miles per hour. And splash down. As you can see, SpaceX recovery ship and team have been waiting for Dragon Splashdown. Dragon successfully re-entered the Earth's atmosphere, followed by deployment of its parachutes to slow the spacecraft down, fired straps and, um, and harnesses around, as you can see there, around the Dragon capsule. We also heard confirmation that uh, the words that were used were unfired ordnance. That, those are those pyrotechnics that are utilized to fire will be lifted into that nest and then that nest will translate toward the camera that we are looking from now. So that nest will translate toward the forward end of the recovery vessel. Brace for capsule lift. Dragon. All right, lift now underway as we bring Dragon Endeavor out of the water. So the side hatch was never used uh, while it was in space. So this will be the first time that that side hatch will be reopened since liftoff. It, uh, it is typically one of those middle seats because they're easiest um, to reach. So again, you do see uh, that crew member getting some assistance. I can't quite tell who it is just yet. I can only imagine what it feels like to have to stand up after spending nearly eight months in space and having to stand up for the first time with Earth's gravity. <laughs> and that is uh, NASA astronaut Matt Dominic, who is now out of the spacecraft. Astronaut uh, Mike Barrett, this is the, uh, he is the veteran on this space flight. The other three flyers on board, crew eight, were, were all rookies. And I do believe that is NASA astronaut Jeanette Epps, who is next out. Yep, Jeanette Epps was the next one out, so Ale Alexander Gerbankin will be next. <laughs> Some thumbs up. And we now have all four crew members outside of uh, Crew Dragon Endeavor following their 235 days in space. Some cheers and excitement for Crew 8. That's great to see.